And that's for you, Jimmy Clanton on WPAT. It's a pleasure to have you tonight here, Jimmy. It wouldn't be the same without you. You know that. Teddy Smith with Bob O'Brien. It's a pleasure. Well, thank you very much. It's great to be with you all. And if you were best known for some of your great songs like Just a Dream of Venus to Blue Jeans and other great music rock and roll people and people that you've always admired and people you like, like Elvis Presley and other great people, what would you say is one of your greatest, greatest talents and greatest people that inspired you along the way? Oh, boy, well, you know, I, I, I was taught to uh, play guitar. I learned to play guitar at an early age, like about eight years of age. And I was uh, born into music, so to speak, with my grandparents down in Alabama. And it really came from going to the, uh, that country Baptist church and learning the Baptist hymns. And from that, that just escalated to the point where I eventually in high school started a little, a little band. And I just well, wanted to be a guitar player. And then by the time I was 17 and then 18, uh, I was really, really advancing with my skills. And uh, then by the time I was 18 and a half, I, I joined up with another guy, and we, we formed a band called The Rockets, which uh, became the, probably the most well-known white rhythm and blues band down there on the Louisiana Gulf Coast. And I guess I would say that I was mostly influenced by the black rhythm and blues artists of that time. The, the people that I, that I heard and I grew up music-wise was, you know, Ray Charles, I would have to say was really the most... Uh, the biggest uh, in influence in my life musically was Ray Charles. Did you ever play like in Biloxi, Mississippi or some places in Gulfport? Oh, yes, I did. I, I played all along that uh, Louisiana, Mississippi Gulf Coast. I sure did. And if you could say, other than Ray Charles, who would be your top three favorite people in this area of music, who would those people be? Oh, boy, you know, that is really, really, really difficult. If, if I would uh, name... My, my favorites, uh, it would be people that I had uh, worked with, and uh, I, I, when I worked with them and got to know them and got to hear their talent live rather than just on record, and I would say that uh, it would be uh, Clyde McFadden and uh, Jackie Wilson. Both of them were tremendous talents musically. Well, you're a tremendous talent, too, and I, I know you're originally from Baton Rouge. Is that correct? Well, I grew up in Baton Rouge, but I was actually born way down in the Bayou country. I'm from Cutoff, Louisiana. I mean, that is uh, Creole Cajun country. That, but I moved to Baton Rouge when I was in my early, early uh, grammar school days, and uh, yes, I did grow up in Baton Rouge. Did I ever tell you I worked at a uh, radio station in Oakdale and Ellick, Alexandria? No. Wow. Wow. Well, I guess the people in this audience just learned that as well. But it was a fun experience, especially, uh, you know, eating Cajun food and being part of Alan Parrish. You know where Alan Parrish is, don't you? Well, I don't know that particular one, but of course, you know, I know all about the Cajun food and I know all about the Cajun people because uh, that's my bloodline. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's very important that, uh, you know, we, we share some things in common because I did live there and it was a, it rained a lot, but then I went to LSU football games on weekends over in Lafayette, so Lafayette was a great place. We well, used to hang out in Lake Charles, you know, we you know where that is, don't you? Absolutely. I played a lot of those uh, swamp, swamp walk nightclubs all over, uh, all over the Louisiana Bayou area, that's for sure. Yeah, if you're just joining us, we want to let you know there's a big following on your website on Facebook, Jim Petrek and my producer just brought that, that to my attention. And I want to welcome all your fans and great people who are listening to this show tonight from all over the world. We stream live at WPAT930AM.com, by the way. And now, well, that's very true because I know we have fans on Facebook from literally all over the world. So I am sure there are many of them that know about the radio program because I, I had it on Facebook. So I'm sure there's many, many of them listening. Anything you could tell us about the song we're about to play, Ship on a Stormy Sea by Jimmy Clanton. Well, that was that was a song that, that was just typical of that, uh, that Louisiana uh, rhythm and blues uh sound that I grew up on down there, and then of course when uh, I'm kind of getting ahead of myself, once I was given the, uh, the lead role in Go Johnny Go, the movie uh, by Alan Fries, and uh, we definitely wanted to use something that was up-tempo but it had that kind of a fl uh, flavor, and so that's the song we used in Go Johnny Go, Ship on a Stormy Sea. Well, 
I'm going to dedicate this to all your fans and all the people that are just learning about you as we speak here at WPAT. Kenny Smith with Mr. Bob O'Brien and Mr. Jimmy Clinton on the radio. Here, this is for you.
music or about your life or about your fans or about anything else that's on your mind right now on a live radio show? Well, I, I have just, uh, I've had a very, very rich life. Uh, I'm so happy that my music era began in the 50s rather than the 60s because I got to be a part of the true, true nostalgia of, of, the, of the, the doo-wop or the rock and roll era uh, by people that I worked with, the climbing fatters, and I got, to, I got to meet all of the great, great artists from there. I worked with Bill Haley in the comics, Laverne Baker. <clears throat> I could go on and on and on. And, of course, the one and only Alan Freed, who put together the classic shows that he put on, and I became kind of a favorite of Alan. Uh, you know, I did all of his major New York shows, and I was on all those shows. And, of course, he gave me the lead role in that, uh, uh, I, at this point, supposedly uh, an iconic classic uh, rock and roll movie, Go Johnny Go. And so the experiences of that turned out to be the greatest because since that time, here and there, I still tour. I don't travel as much as I used to. But it's just amazing that I'm able to go around the United States and uh, all of these fans, they come forth and they have all the stories about, oh, Jimmy, uh, we were here, we were there when that song came out, and we're, we're, so, we're, we're just so thrilled to, to have this uh, to come back into our lives, and they enjoy it so much. And uh, that, of course, has, has, has gone into Facebook. Once I found out about Facebook, I'm really a late bloomer with Facebook and even with computers only a little over two, two and a half years ago. But in that two and a half years, all of a sudden, I have like around 2,400 people, and they're all, uh, they all love the doo-wop. They love the 50s, and thank God they're, they're, they're kind of crazy about me, and that's, that's sweet of them. And so I interact with those fans, and um, it's just a it's just a great big wonderful uh, uh, family of people, and I interact with them. And then when I'm in different places in the United States, uh, they can come to my shows. I take pictures, and we put them up on Facebook, on Facebook, and then this way everybody can relate uh, to what's going on. And last but not least, many years ago now, I became a Christian. And through my Christianity, I have utilized the knowledge of the things of God on Facebook. I do a whole thing called Nuggets from Jimmy. And I do little vignette stories, and I connect all the stories of my ministry, I mean of my life, with the ministry. And I, I, will, I will give everybody little stories and then little scriptures. And everybody seems to be totally blessed by it. And so I utilize everything that I've been blessed with in order to be a blessing to people. Well, it'll be great to have you on some of our other shows, like some of our gospel programs. I maybe you'd enjoy that, and some of our talk programming, because we definitely have a great built-in audience here. In the meantime, when you're up in New York, if you ever come up this way, drop in and see us, Jimmy, okay? Where, where, where are you located at? Well, in the heart of Manhattan, and near Wall Street, okay. actually in the Wall Street area. All right, well, because I come to Long Island, I do, uh, I do shows there, and I also do ministry throughout Long Island. So I'll be in Long Island at uh, a big show um, at Hong Kong Big High School there uh, in November. Uh, so if anybody is interested in it, if they go to Lars Productions, uh, Lars Productions is a big uh, entertainment company that books shows, and I'll be there, or they can just... Uh, you know, just, just uh, befriend me on Facebook, and they'll, they'll find out everything about me on Facebook. Well, thank you very much, Jimmy. God bless you and your family and everybody tonight who's listening. And I want to thank you for being such a wonderful guest. Thanks to Mr. Jim Petreca and all the wonderful people here at WPAT. Now I'm going to play your wonderful song. Anything else you'd like to tell us briefly? Well, on my website, uh, jimmyclinton.com, uh, there is my music, my new CD, my Christian CD. Also, there's a, there's a CD there from all of my a compilation of all the greatest hits that I've ever had, and also a newsletter about my fan club. So if you go to JimmyClancy.com, there's a lot of neat stuff there about my career. Okay, Jimmy, have a wonderful night, a wonderful weekend, and a wonderful summer, and hope to see you back here in November at WPAT. 
Sounds good. We'll do so. All the best to you now. Let's just a dream with Teddy Smith and Bob O'Brien. 720 on the AM 930 dial at WPAT. And we're going to be speaking with Nicole Hallaby momentarily. And also Joe Terry and Steve Yeager is going to be playing in the studio. Just a dream. Oh, yes. Just a dream. Oh, <laughs> 